I was very sorry about that because I think we had lots of possibilities mm. still that we hadn't yet explored in that. Um, in fact, they put it on um, in Southern television, mm. how far back we're going. And the Southern voted it. Uh, they, they very often put things on that hadn't quite succeeded or were repeated. And that was voted as the most successful mm -hmm. of the repeats, if you like, that people really had missed it or they actually liked it. Um, so I was rather pleased about that. But for whatever reason, you see, don't forget, we weren't in charge of what goes out on the screen <laughs> and what is pulled back. So now I think it's much more. You probably have this on Facebook or something, wouldn't you? You say, yeah. bring back, bring back you know, yeah. yeah, bring back this. <coughs> or you see, I don't know anything much about these things, but I know that people get up in arms if something yeah. is taken off that they like. We didn't have any of that then. That well, the be... entire series had been filmed, of course, before an episode had ever been screened. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think the first screening was like about a week after you'd finished wrapped the last episode. It was all done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You couldn't do much about it then. Yeah. yeah. And we, we, we would have, we'd give a few showings, but only to the big bosses. Yeah. And they weren't about to say, oh, we've spent all this money, we, you know. But, uh, so that was, that was really a drawback there. That really upset me a lot mm. because I just felt there were a lot of interesting things there. Yeah. One of the things I used to do is experiment. Um, not totally, but I remember sitting in my uh, office uh, on the Australian estate wearing a purple wig and thinking to myself, I'll try this out to see what people would think of it. And you know, no one commented on it at all. I sat behind my desk. I think we had the unions came down and they still looked at me like, you know, strange woman. But no one made, yeah. I tried to do a bit of market research, if you like. Yeah. It didn't work at all. They just uh, saw me and saw me uh, going through one of her funny terms and experiments. So um, I just thought, hell, I'm going to do it anyway. And in those days, I have to say, we were very fortunate to have someone like Lou Grade as our boss. He goes, he let us get on with it. Yeah. And he used to say, he'd ring me up and, and on um, Lady Penelope, when I, we got to that point stage, the only comment he made to me was, oh, Sylvia, don't make her too posh. I said, Lou, she's a lady and she's living in a stately home. He said, well, you know what I mean. I yeah. said, yeah, I know what you mean. And I didn't do anything different. I just went ahead and did it. <laughs> So uh, we don't have all yeah. these endless committee meetings now that you have. Yeah. I've been to where you go. And you've got half a dozen people giving different views. And the minute you ask more than one or two people what they think of the script, you're in for trouble. Yeah. Because everyone's got an opinion. And so your original thought, so you go, oh, no, I'm not going now, are they? So you have to con your way a bit through yeah. these things. We don't call it conning, do we? We call it um, yeah. exploring, you know? <laughs> Blue sky thinking. <laughs>
And if you, unless you were Walt Disney or something that did that stuff, which yeah. obviously we couldn't afford to do, um, it, you had a bad step, start before you even <laughs> began. Yeah. But when it came to other things creatively, we, we, I know that I especially were just getting a character right. Then, oh, yeah. well, by the way, we've got to make, think of another one, you know? Yeah. So it was difficult. Yeah. Um I thought it was very charming. I never thought that it was going to be a blockbuster. Yeah. And unfortunately, in those days, as is now, you've got to think of a blockbuster thing, really, because yeah. you've got to think of low grade and his big cigar and everything. He was a lovely man, I've got to say. He's a lovely man. He, he personally was extremely humane, as I found out later on. Um, but, and he, and we, he was very good because he, he left us to mm. get on with him. Hardly ever came down to check on anything. Just, I mm. have a phone call, rarely. I don't make her too posh or don't, whatever. And then one, one uh, time he said, oh, <coughs> the Americans had been over and they didn't like the leading man. And I thought, well, the leading man is a very good actor. Um, he was, wasn't put there as a Hollywood idol, mm -hmm. but he was good. I can't tell you his name. <laughs> uh, and I got this one of the rare phone calls from Luke Gray, mm -hmm. who said, Sylvia, I, you know I don't like to interfere with what you're doing. I said, yeah, I know. But, well, they don't <laughs> like that leading man. <clears throat> I said, what, do, what don't they like? I said, he's a very good actor, you know, he's done so many films. He said, no, but... They want someone a bit prettier than that. I said, oh dear, where are we going with this? But um, he, yeah, I knew then that Lou was, not, was no longer his own master, really. Yeah. He, it was now going the Hollywood route. Mm -hmm. So whatever I, um, and I later found out more of that um, when we were doing other things. And I realized that the studios look at it and say, how much did that film make that he'd, like, ju he'd just finished? But if they didn't like it, that was yeah. it, basically. So you, we, we were going away from what we originally wanted to do. We get Hollywood baggage from Hollywood people. I mean, they insisted uh, Martin Landau and Robert Bain. In fact, I saw him not long ago in mm -hmm. the flesh. I did an event uh, in Manchester. And uh, I really wasn't quite ready to be very friendly to him about <laughs> certain things. But he made a point of, Sylvia, it's lovely to see you and everything. And I said, yeah. And he said, I'm sorry that we weren't very well behaved. I said, oh, thank you for that. I said, you know, because it turned out that they weren't very grateful. And at a time when I really needed someone maybe to say, um, how are you, Sylvia, or whatever. They didn't bother. They didn't bother. And it was only when I worked then for HBO, mm -hmm. which I did for a number of years, happily, I've got to say, uh, that they found out that I was representing a very big outfit. And that Barbara Bain, I was in Hollywood at the time, uh, who sought me out and said, oh, we're so sorry, we didn't come and see you. And I said, don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. And I just got a bit of satisfaction to yeah. say that. I'm now in a situation where I could cast you in a film, you know. <laughs> but um, not very nice, I know, but I enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you do get you do yeah. get those rewards sometimes if you hang on long enough. Yeah. But um, no, I mean they're no longer together and all the rest of it, you know. But they they did put us through the hill. I mean really. Um, I was told or asked by, Lou Gray never gave me orders, I've got to say. He always said, what do you think? And, you know, that goes a long way. If yeah. you're talking to someone, you're doing something creative, you want someone to say that to you. Don't yeah. say, do that, you know. And for that, I would, I valued him. Yeah. Because he said, first of all, to me, never give me a script, because I don't understand scripts. I thought that's honest of him. Yeah. So I never did. And also, um, don't give me anything where the music hasn't been put on and it isn't the right thing. I want to see it when it's complete. Just bring me what you think is the complete thing. 
So in other words, he didn't want to send, see anything where the music wasn't dubbed on, but he was honest enough to say that. Some people just yeah. pretend they know, but they don't. Uh, so I had a lot of time for him, and for me personally, when things went wrong, per, on a personal basis, he was there for me. Yeah. So I've always felt that what you see is what you've got with Lou Grade, but I wouldn't sneer at him, and I, because we owed a lot to him. We really did.